still on the journey of judging the Foodie Awards 2012. With me is the wonderful Karen Anand and Karen and I are in Goa. Fantastic place and we have two fab restaurants here that are part of the awards. Uh, one in the international food category and one in the seafood category. And is your appetite now grumbling in your stomach? It certainly is. Let's go. Shall we still head straight for the crab? Let's go. I hope they like the food. As they have they are having the best of our food, like the seafood what we are famous for. Karen, there's an explosion of seafood on our table at My this God, point. My God, and right? I'm just. I'm just eyeing this crab and I don't know what state my hands are going to be in. Why are we talking so much? Let's I know. Mmm. It's beautifully cooked. It's spicy. Mmm. It's sour and it's sweet. It's got a little sweetness. Usually mm. Reshan doesn't. Mmm. But I think to complement the sweetness of the crab. Mmm. What a fantastic crab, it's huh? Delicious. It's delicious. <laughs> One of the best kaldins I've had, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Well, mm. this, this curry also. It's very mild, almost sweet because of the coconut. Mm. Texture of the, uh, the curry is really nice and smooth. Mm. It's tempered down, but it's, it's still great. It's very tasty. It's got that vinegar, uh, toddy vinegar, sugar. Um, all the, the ground masalas which are cooked for hours, you know. Karen, this has been quite a feast, I must say. How do you rate it? Say, on taste. Definitely an eight. That's a great score. Don't you think? Yep. Yeah. Okay, Don't ambience, you? ambience of this restaurant? Look, it's fun. Yeah. Um, I think they've kept this sort of authentic, shacky kind of look. Um, I think about a seven for ambience. I'd give it an eight. It's isolated. The whole restaurant it is. itself is it in is. a village. Variety of food. Oh no, I think it has a huge variety. A couple of curry, well the kaldin for sure, yeah. that curry and maybe a, a, just a fish fry. Mm. I think you could get a meal for five or um, 1200 bucks for two for people. For two people? Yeah. yeah. Which is very which reasonable is in Goa today. Not bad at all. Great, I think this has spoiled us. You know, this, has. this meal has really spoiled us. I think we need to nap after this. But we're coming back with more food. <laughs> Well, the sun is setting at Little Vagator and we are here to judge the nomination for Best International Cuisine. The restaurant is called Halasa. Thank you, and it's fantastic. As you can see, it overlooks the beach and Thalassa proves, Kunal, that there is more to Greek food mm. than just souvlaki and what else do we know, actually? Just know salad, nothing. Greek salad. Yeah. So I think we should have a look at this restaurant and then eat over here. Have a look. Mm. Right, we've settled down at a wonderful table with the sea right behind us, the sun going down and I have the menu of this Greek restaurant and I must confess it's all Greek to me. <laughs> so Karen, you've got to help me over here, okay? Well, I'll try. This is the Greek salad which I think is, is pretty strong. Classic, classic Greek it's salad. It's cucumber, lettuce, um, the only thing is a cut is slightly different in Greece. It's saganaki, it's got spicy prawns okay. and it's got some melted cheese on top so it's an interesting... Sounds uh, good. Yeah, I think try some of that. The cheese that's doing it, huh? Of course. It is the cheese that's yeah, doing yeah. it for this. Things go better with feta. Things go better with feta. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Well, that's an interesting thing, huh? Tana. I like this. It's quite mm. nice. Yeah. The now mains. I think we're going to have some interesting mains. Mm. I think we should. So, Karen, once again, I need your help. The mains have arrived, and uh, this is obviously Osaka. Yeah, it looks like it, but it's, uh, now the music's up as well, so it sounds like a big fat Greek wedding, doesn't it? <laughs> it does, it, it looks does. looks like a big fat yeah. Greek wedding as well, and this is Osaka, which is like a layered uh, banger. Aubergine, banger. Aubergine, and all yeah. yeah. What I like about this moussaka mm. is that the meat and the aubergine has become one. Yeah, it's quite yum, isn't it? There's no question about ambience atmosphere, is there? Ten. I mean, yeah, ten on ten. Yeah, ten, eleven on ten. Well, listen, definitely, I can't get better, can't than, get this. better than this. Yeah? 
Okay, so ambience score high, high score in yeah. ambience. Yeah. What about the food? Listen, I think the food for what it's not claiming to be Michelin five five star. Sure. You know, as as we are used to European food being mm. associated with, it's claiming to be Greek, rough and ready, interesting. And for that claim, I think we should give it eight at least. The pricing for what it is is correct. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's reasonable. I wouldn't say it's expensive. All all the nominees have great food in this uh, category of international cuisine. This is one more of those great places that yeah. we've been to. May the best food win. Absolutely, and I think it's going to. Great. I'm really fascinated. I really can't believe this is happening. You know, it's uh, really. I'm so proud of it.